Hey I'm Mark Bates. I used to be nearly 200 pounds, type 2 diabetic, on a stack of meds I spent over a decade researching, studying under top experts, and becoming a certified metabolic health practitioner. Today, I'm about 155, no diabetes or meds. If you're tired of guessing and ready to take control of your health, join my free newsletter and work with me as your health coach. Let's rebuild your health, together. What if the food pyramid wasn't just outdated, but an evolutionary mistake? For millions of years, humans survived and thrived without grains, snack bars, or low-fat yogurt. Our ancestors ate when food was available, fasted when it wasn't, and relied heavily on nutrient-dense animal foods. But today, our dietary guidelines tell us to do the exact opposite. Here's the truth. Modern humans are still 99.9% .9 genetically identical to our Paleolithic ancestors. Yet we're being told to eat in ways that would have baffled every generation before us. Agriculture is new, just 10,000 years old. But the guidelines that shape our school lunches, hospital meals, and wellness programs assume our bodies adapted overnight. They didn't. Obesity and diabetes rates skyrocketing since the 1970s. 1970s, we've reduced saturated fat, eaten more grains, and followed the food pyramid. The result? An explosion of metabolic disease, obesity, diabetes, insulin resistance. So maybe the question isn't what's wrong with us. Maybe the question is, what's wrong with our nutrition advice? Modern science is catching up. Intermittent fasting improves insulin response. Protein-rich diets preserve muscle and brain health. Whole, unprocessed foods reduce inflammation and hunger. These aren't trends, they're echoes of our evolutionary past. The further we stray from ancestral patterns, frequent eating, processed carbs, low-fat everything, the more our health declines. Because we're not designed for this. This isn't about going back to the caves. It's about respecting the biology that got us here. Human brain expansion has been linked to nutrient-dense animal foods, our large brains, fueled by meat and fat. Our metabolism, tuned to feast and famine. Our digestion, built for real food, not factory formulations. It's time to rethink the pyramid and the plate. Let's align our nutritional advice with evolutionary truth, not economic convenience. Because when we eat in harmony with our biology, everything changes. Energy, mood, resilience, health. Evolution built the blueprint. It's time our guidelines followed it. Please like, subscribe, and comment if you have any questions.